If you went through that black hole, you would reach another universe. There is now a connection between quantum computing and black holes. In this eye-opening video, we explore a groundbreaking and terrifying discovery made by the James Webb Space Telescope. Inside a black hole, explained by none other than Bill Nye the Science Guy, a black hole is a star so massive that even light cannot escape it because of its immense gravity. The mysteries of black holes have puzzled scientists for decades, but now, thanks to Webb's unprecedented capabilities, we've glimpsed something truly astonishing. The supermassive black hole consumes the equivalent of one Earth every second. It's stunning and compelling. The first ever image of a black hole in space. Prepare yourself as we delve into the incredible details of this cosmic revelation and what it could mean for our understanding of the universe. Stars at the end of their life, much bigger and more massive than the sun, run out of fuel and start to collapse as gravity squashes them. Black holes are tricky to detect. It was quite a challenge to search for the first one, even though Einstein's theory of relativity predicted they were common. Unlike stars, black holes do not emit any light of their own making their size and spin the only measurable properties we have. Photographic evidence of black holes confirming their existence has only recently become available. However, conclusive proof of black holes was lacking for quite some time. The first black hole, Cygnus X1, was discovered in 1964, but it took over 30 years for authorities like Stephen Hawking and Kip Thorne to reach a consensus on whether Cygnus X1 was indeed a black hole. Hawking, a prominent figure in black hole research, was confident in their existence but cautious about the lack of definitive findings. Hawking and Thorne were almost certain that Cygnus X-1 was a black hole in 1975 when the wager was initially cast, and by 1988, they were 95% sure. Still, Hawking waited until 1990 to concede defeat when more observations provided sufficient proof. The initial discovery of Cygnus X-1 was made using two Geiger counters launched into space on a suborbital rocket, detecting a signal pinpointed to a system 7,200 light-years away. The system featured a blue supergiant star orbiting another large object radiating strong X-rays, which would make sense if it were a black hole. Much research has focused on Cygnus X-1 since its discovery, revealing that it is 21 times the mass of the Sun, making it the largest stellar mass black hole found without gravitational waves. This discovery challenges long-held assumptions about black hole formation and the mass loss experienced by stars over their lifetimes. Cygnus X-1 breaks records in more ways than one. Its extraordinary bulk and the fastest rotational velocity of any black hole discovered so far, approaching the speed of light, defy the accepted pattern of black hole evolution. Although definitive evidence of black holes has only recently been discovered, it is increasingly apparent that they are scattered throughout the universe. Even if scientists eventually untangle all the mysteries of Cygnus X-1, the first of its kind, countless others still hold many surprises. Less than 2,000 light-years away from Earth, scientists have discovered a sleeping giant, the Milky Way's largest stellar black hole, Gaia BH3, with a mass 33 times greater than that of our Sun. Despite being the second closest known black hole to Earth, Gaia BH3 remained undiscovered until recently. Gaia BH3 was discovered by accident while scientists from the European Space Agency analyzed data from the Gaia mission, which maps our galaxy in 3D. The discovery of this dormant black hole, which isn't actively siphoning energy and materials from a companion star, was a complete surprise. Typically, stellar black holes in our Milky Way have a mass around 10 times that of the Sun, with Cygnus X1 holding the record at 21 times the Sun's mass. However, Gaia BH3, with a mass of 33 solar masses, is still tiny compared to all black holes. For instance, the central supermassive black hole in our galaxy, Sagittarius A**, is 4 million times larger than the Sun. Gaia BH3 is the second closest black hole to Earth, behind only Gaia BH1, which is 1,500 light-years away and 10 times the mass of the Sun. Astronomers now have more evidence to piece together how stellar black holes form from the demise of long-gone stars. Stars with lower concentrations of heavy metals are thought to be the source of more massive stellar black holes. These metal-poor stars, mainly composed of hydrogen and helium, are believed to experience slower mass loss, leaving more material available to create massive black holes when they die. Using the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, 
astronomers have discovered an extremely red supermassive black hole growing in the early universe's shadow. As the universe expanded, the supermassive black hole took on a reddish color 700 million years after the Big Bang. The light heading our way is redshifted, suggesting a thick veil of gas and dust surrounding the black hole. Lucas FCK and I. Yel Zitrin of the Ben-Gurion University of the Negev's astronomy team established the supermassive black hole's mass using JWST data, finding it to be about 40 million times the sun's mass. This discovery starkly contrasts with the galaxy it inhabits, showing that the supermassive black hole is quickly devouring the surrounding dust and gas. Located about 12.9 billion light-years from Earth, this quasar-like object was initially identified by its red appearance. Quasars are created when large amounts of matter surround supermassive black holes, forming a disk of gas and dust that feeds the black hole. The immense gravitational influence of the black hole churns this matter, generating intense temperatures and causing it to glow. The light emitted by quasars can be so bright that it surpasses the brightness of all the stars in their surrounding galaxy. The JWST detected this supermassive black hole as a tiny point due to the massive amount of radiation it was emitting. The object was identified as an unusual star-forming galaxy based on color analysis, supporting the theory of supermassive black holes. Its small size and apparent supermassive black hole nature stood out from other quasars discovered in the early universe. This discovery was made possible by gravitational lensing, an effect predicted by Einstein in 1915. Einstein's theory of general relativity suggests that objects of mass warp the fabric of space and time, which are united as a single entity called spacetime. This curvature causes gravity to exist, and the more massive the object, the more extreme the curvature. The curvature of spacetime also affects the light emitted by stars, bending it as it passes near massive objects. This phenomenon, known as gravitational lensing, allows us to see distant objects that would otherwise be invisible. The JWST used this effect, aided by a galaxy cluster called a 2744, to magnify the light of distant galaxies and uncover the crimson quasar. This new information adds to the growing body of evidence that the early cosmos was populated with supermassive black holes, which can be millions or even billions of times heavier than the sun. Now that this behavior has been observed in multiple additional early universe supermassive black holes, it sheds light on the growth of both the black hole and the host galaxy, as well as the interaction between the two. The classic chicken or egg dilemma, but on an astronomical scale, is still unresolved. Did the galaxy or the black hole come first? How massive were the first black holes and how did they grow? Researchers may have discovered proof that microquasars, which are vampire black holes that devour power stars, are cosmic particle accelerators unleashing unexplained high-energy cosmic rays that hit Earth. These massive black holes consume material from nearby supergiant stars in binary systems, and some of the star matter is ejected as relativistic jets traveling at great speeds. Microquasars are smaller versions of quasars, both powered by supermassive black holes devouring nearby matter. Discovered in 1912, Cosmic rays can hit Earth with energies reaching 10 to the power of 20 electron volts, far more energetic than particles accelerated at the Large Hadron Collider, the world's most powerful particle accelerator. The hypothesis suggests that supernovae and microquasars are the universe's most potent cosmic particle accelerators. However, evidence of microquasars accelerating particles to such high energies has been scarce until now. Using the High Energy Stereoscopic System, HESS, Scientists identified exceptionally high-energy gamma rays from the jets of the most powerful microquasar in the Milky Way, establishing the link between cosmic rays and microquasars. This microquasar, SS-433, generates high-energy cosmic rays through its jets, which collide with surrounding matter, producing a shock front that accelerates electrons to extreme speeds. These gamma rays are a byproduct of this process. SS-433 was the first microquasar ever discovered, located at the center of the W-50 supernova remnants, affectionately called the Manatee Nebula. SS-433 has been the subject of extensive research for decades. The system consists of a white supergiant star and a black hole about 10 to 15 times the sun's mass. They orbit each other every 13 Earth days, with the star's outer layers being stripped by the black hole's gravity. Some of this material forms an accretion disk around the black hole, 
while other parts are ejected as jets traveling at 26% of the speed of light. These jets, spiraling in a corkscrew pattern, shape the W-50 supernova remnants, giving it the appearance of a cosmic manatee. The jets fade over time but re-appear, a phenomenon driven by the cyclical nature of SS-433's behavior. The jets from the black hole are also interacting with the surrounding matter, creating a complex interplay between the black hole and its environment. This behavior makes SS-433 one of the most intriguing and informative objects in the study of microquasars and their role in cosmic particle acceleration. Despite SS-433 being the first identified microquasar, much is still unknown about how black holes accelerate particles to such extreme energies and their broader impact on the universe. Researchers use various methods, including indirect measurements, to determine the nature of these cosmic phenomena. For example, black holes can be observed through their interactions with nearby stars and matter, as evidenced by the dramatic increase in X-ray emissions as material is pulled into their gravitational grasp. This phenomenon is critical in understanding black holes and their impact on the cosmos, offering crucial insights into the evolution and behavior of these enigmatic objects. In the realm of black hole research, the recent discovery of the most distant known black hole, a record-breaking 13.1 billion light-years away, has further expanded our understanding of these cosmic giants. This discovery, made possible by the capabilities of the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, reveals a supermassive black hole formed less than a billion years after the Big Bang. This early formation challenges existing theories about black hole development and galaxy evolution. Observations suggest that these primordial black holes may have played a crucial role in shaping the structure of the universe by influencing the formation and growth of the earliest galaxies. In addition to their role in galaxy formation, black holes have been linked to powerful cosmic phenomena known as active galactic nuclei, AGN. AGNs are characterized by extremely luminous emission from the regions around supermassive black holes at the centers of galaxies. This emission occurs when material from the surrounding accretion disk is heated to extreme temperatures as it spirals inward, emitting X-rays and other forms of radiation. Studying AGNs provides valuable insights into the feeding behavior of black holes and their influence on their host galaxies. These studies have revealed that AGNs can significantly impact galaxy evolution by regulating star formation and distributing heavy elements throughout the galaxy. Recent advancements in gravitational wave astronomy have provided a new way to probe the properties of black holes. The detection of gravitational waves from colliding black holes by observatories such as LIGO, Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, and Virgo has opened a new frontier in understanding these enigmatic objects. Gravitational waves, ripples in spacetime caused by accelerating massive objects, allow scientists to measure the masses, spins, and other properties of black holes that are otherwise difficult to observe. These observations have confirmed the existence of black holes with masses ranging from a few to several tens of solar masses, including the detection of black hole mergers that result in the formation of even more massive black holes. Another intriguing aspect of black hole research involves their role in the formation of high-energy cosmic rays. Cosmic rays, which are highly energetic particles traveling through space, are thought to be accelerated by black holes, particularly those in active galactic nuclei or microquasars. The process involves the interaction of relativistic jets produced by black holes with surrounding matter, resulting in shock waves that accelerate particles to near-light speeds. Understanding the origins of these cosmic rays is crucial for comprehending their impact on the interstellar medium and the broader cosmic environment. In addition to their impact on cosmic rays, black holes are also associated with the formation of complex structures known as relativistic outflows. These outflows are powerful jets of matter ejected from the regions around black holes, traveling at nearly the speed of light. The study of these outflows helps scientists understand the mechanisms behind the formation and evolution of supermassive black holes and their influence on their host galaxies. Observations of these jets have provided crucial information about the magnetic fields and particle acceleration processes occurring in the vicinity of black holes. Recent theoretical work has also explored the concept of primordial black holes, which are believed to have formed in the early universe shortly after the Big Bang. These hypothetical black holes, unlike stellar mass or supermassive black holes, 
would have formed from density fluctuations in the early universe rather than from collapsing stars. If they exist, primordial black holes could account for some of the dark matter in the universe. Detecting these elusive objects remains a significant challenge, but their study could offer new insights into the fundamental properties of dark matter and the early universe. Moreover, black hole thermodynamics and the study of Hawking radiation continue to be areas of active research. Proposed by Stephen Hawking, this theoretical radiation suggests that black holes can emit particles and slowly lose mass over time. While direct detection of Hawking radiation is currently beyond our technological capabilities, it has profound implications for our understanding of black hole evaporation and the ultimate fate of these objects. Theoretical models and simulations are helping to explore how this process could affect the lifespan and properties of black holes. Another exciting development in black hole research is the exploration of black hole information paradox, a long-standing puzzle in theoretical physics. This paradox concerns the question of whether information that falls into a black hole is lost forever or if it can be recovered in some form. Recent advances in quantum information theory and holography have led to new insights into this problem, suggesting that information might be preserved in a highly scrambled form and potentially recoverable in some way. Finally, the discovery of gravitational waves from black hole mergers has not only confirmed the existence of these cosmic giants, but also provided a unique way to study their formation and evolution. These waves carry information about the masses, spins, and dynamics of the black holes involved offering a new method for probing the fundamental properties of these enigmatic objects. The continued observation and analysis of gravitational waves will undoubtedly reveal even more about the nature of black holes and their role in the universe. In summary, black hole research continues to evolve with advancements in observational techniques, theoretical models, and new discoveries. From the distant supermassive black holes in the early universe to the complex interactions of microquasars, the study of black holes remains a dynamic and fascinating field with far-reaching implications for our understanding of the cosmos.